Hey, what's up guys? This is Tyler here, and this is my little special field reporter, Martin, uh, joining me um, for this video today. Um, so today's video um, is part two of my three-part series called uh, Division Realignment Proposals. Um, with the hat today, I'm going with the MBA. Um, so appearing on your screen here shortly will be currently how the NBA divisions are set up between the two conferences. Um, and then I'm going to, in this video, share my proposal with you. So it looks like Martin's going to do some field reporting for me. Um, so he, here on your screen will be the current NBA divisions. Well, all right, guys, so now that you've seen how the NBA has their division structured, I've got my sheet here um, with my proposal on how the NBA division should be aligned. So the first and foremost thing is going from three divisions in each conference to four. So each conference would have a North division, South division, West, and East. So there'd be a little bit more... Uh, teams spread out and if you think about it on paper it guarantees you one extra division champion in each conference so obviously two total over the course of the league so um, so there's gonna be lots of uh, shifting around going on here um, and so let's go ahead and get started uh, we'll start with the Western Conference um, in my new uh, North division it would look like this the Minnesota Timberwolves, the Portland Trailblazers, the Utah Jazz, and the Denver Nuggets. And I know it's kind of not, some of these divisions aren't going to be perfect in terms of which teams are in these divisions, but I tried my best to, so with the 30 teams that are currently in the NBA, um, I just, I didn't do any, um, relocation teams I kept all the teams where they are um, and so I just tried to stay true as much as possible to how uh, the teams play each other like how often and all that sort of thing so this division um, it doesn't make the best sense but um, given all the factors involved um, I felt like this was about the best way to put that division together um, and the South Division is kind of the same thing. Uh, my South Division would include the following teams. The Houston Rockets, the Dallas Mavericks, San Antonio Spurs, and the Phoenix Suns. So you got the three Texas teams and you got Phoenix. And so it's another one of those. It's not, not how I would shape the division if, you know, I had all the, the choice in the world, but given with the current teams that are in the NBA right now, um, I felt like that was um, about as good as I could hope for there. So the West Division um, would look pretty straightforward and pretty simple. The Los Angeles Lakers, the Los Angeles Clippers, Sacramento Kings, and the Golden State Warriors. So basically it would be the California Division. And I was tempted to relocate under my proposal here, um, I was tempted to relocate the Sacramento Kings to what would be basically uh, otherwise an expansion city, like a Nashville, Kansas City, um, or Montreal. Uh, I was tempted to go there, but with the fact that Sacramento just got their new arena a couple of years ago, um, I figured, okay, let's just leave them alone. Um, and we'll try and find ways to include um, some other cities in the in the NBA. So, um, and then my East Division would um, be in, with the following teams: the New Orleans Pelicans, the Oklahoma City Thunder, the Memphis Grizzlies, and here's my first expansion franchise proposal: the Nashville Gladiators. So if you think about it, the Nashville area 
um, is kind of on the rise when it comes to sports. The Titans have gotten better in recent years, um, and they look like at least a contender to win their division every year. Uh, the Nashville Predators of the NHL are typically in the playoffs every year. Um, and so why not put a NBA franchise down there? I think that would do pretty well. Um, because the fan base, I think, would clamor for an NBA team, and I think they would enjoy it. So that's just uh, my personal opinion. Um, and Nashville is the music city, after all, so why not? Um, so uh, with that being said, we're now going to transition to the Eastern Conference. Um, my newly proposed North Division would look like this. The Toronto Raptors the Boston Celtics, the Detroit Pistons, and the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, the South Division would include the following teams. The Charlotte Hornets, the Miami Heat, the Orlando Magic, and the Atlanta Hawks. Um, and so one thing I will note here um, is the Atlanta Hawks, they're kind of on the downswing right now, kind of in a rebuilding um, type situation with the team right now. But um, Atlanta is my home away from home. And in terms of the NBA, they are my team. Um, because Atlanta is my second home and they have an NBA team, um, I will continue to support that team, um, even though they're kind of on the downswing. But hey, perfect time to jump on the bandwagon. So um, if you haven't already. Anyway, um, let's move on to the uh, what would be the new East Division of the Eastern Conference. It would look like this. The Washington Wizards, the Philadelphia 76ers, the Brooklyn Nets, and the New York Knicks. Um, another note I'll throw in here. Um, so the Brooklyn Nets, their new head coach, um, is my all-time favorite NBA player, Steve Nash. Um, so I'm really excited about him being the head coach, um, along with Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving um, being ready for the start of the new season. Um, so I'm excited about what that team's going to look like. And so if Atlanta cannot win the NBA championship next year, which pretty unlikely, got to be honest, um, I'm ready for the Brooklyn Nets. Um, I mean, Steve Nash has always been my guy, even before, um, I fell in love with uh, LeBron as a player. Um, so, cause I feel like in a way, like if I ever did make it to the NBA, Steve Nash's game was kind of how I would have played the game of basketball. Um, and so with him being the head coach, and he never won an NBA title as a player, so I would love for him to get that opportunity as a coach. Um, and I liked Kevin Durant when he was with the Thunder, despised him when he was with the Golden State Warriors. But now that he's not with the Warriors anymore and he's got the opportunity to lead the Nets to their first NBA championship, just that in general, plus uh, helping Steve Nash win his first NBA title. Um, Kyrie Irving, I've kind of gone back and forth. I think overall I do like him. Um, it's just like, you know, don't try to be something you're not. And I think Kyrie tried that with the Celtics, um, trying to be a leader, trying to be a uh, like a LeBron type leader um, on the Celtics and it just didn't work out. Um, so honestly, I think he's just, you know, just go out there and ball and just let your play do the talking for you, you know, because that's just, that's just not Kyrie's uh, forte. So, but yeah, overall, um, I like the Brooklyn Nets going into this year. Um, I think they've got the opportunity to at least contend for the Eastern Conference Championship, if not the NBA Championship. So, um, who knows? It could be the Lakers versus the Nets in the finals. Who knows? Um, but I'm excited about this NBA season for sure. Um, and lastly um, is what would be the new Western Division of the Eastern Conference. Um, Cleveland Cavaliers, the Chicago Bulls, the Indiana Pacers, and sorry, you knew this was happening, my second proposed expansion franchise would be the Kansas City Rampage. Because um, I, I had the opportunity to take part in a Miami Heat preseason game a few years ago with my buddy Duran. Uh, hey, 
Adrian, hope you're, hope you're watching, bud. Um, but watching LeBron and Chris Bosh when they were with the Miami Heat still at the time, uh, watching LeBron put on a clinic in pregame warm-ups just like uh, everybody had said he does, um, and to watch him play in person was pretty cool. Um, and any time there was an NBA exhibition game in Kansas City, um, I heard nothing but good things about it, and the attendance was always really good. So I don't know. I I know a lot of people in Kansas City would argue that it's probably more of a hockey expansion uh, type city. Um, and I I wouldn't mind if we had a hockey team too. You know, don't get me wrong, but for me, I've all I never grew up around hockey much. Um, I mean, at least we have the Kansas City Mavericks. Um, and I did get to attend one of their games in February of last year before the pandemic really exploded. So, um, but yeah, I think the NBA, um, is probably the better option for Kansas City in my opinion. Um, and it would be really cool to be able to go to NBA games throughout the year, um, because we have a franchise here. So, and for the team name of Rampage, I just thought, you know, that sounds like a really cool name, so why not? Um, so that is my um, proposed NBA division realignment. Um, so hopefully um, hopefully it makes sense to you guys, at least in, on some level. Um, so stay tuned for next month when I look into uh, Major League Baseball um, and how I would set the divisions um, for that league. Um, so until next time guys, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for con your continued support of my channel um, and everything that I do with this. Um, again, I don't get paid to do this. I do this literally just as a hobby and something that I like to do on the side. So uh, have a great day. God bless.